Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. Welcome back to all my returning Scorpios and welcome to my new Scorpios. Thank you so much for being here and watching this reading. I pray that it is used to heal, bless, and inspire you, Scorpio. Like always, take what resonates and leave anything that doesn't. We are starting Pisces season today and we have a new moon in Pisces tomorrow. So let's take a look at what Pisces season means for you, Scorpio, because you're going to be feeling it just like Cancer and Pisces in this very watery season. Plus it is the end of the zodiac year. So let's see how we are culminating everything that we've learned, everything that we've worked through in the last zodiac year and getting ready to end it all and start a fresh new year next month. So let's see, whenever you see this, it's for you. These readings are timeless. Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio. I just got done with the cancer reading, so you may, may you may or may not be dealing with a cancer, but I did just get done with that reading, so I apologize, Scorpio. Let's see what is for you. What do you have for my Scorpios, please? Adjustments are required. So let's get another card before I start talking about this, but you know, we are at the end of the zodiac year with this Pisces season. So you may be, um, there may be some things that you've been working through, some dreams or some achievements, goals that you've been trying to manifest. And it, whatever you are, whatever you find that you've been manifesting so far, if you don't like it, Scorpio, you can adjust, adjust your manifesting. Okay, adjust your thinking, adjust your beliefs. Take a look at what's not working and adjust accordingly. All right, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams right now. Listen to your intuition. There's a lot of purple on this card. I don't know if you can really tell, but this tells me just even more. Pay attention to your intuition right now. Let's get another card for you. Oh, it's a time to take action. New moon in Aries. This is coming up in another month, um, but it's telling you. So whatever it is that you're going after, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest, it's time to take action on something and adjust the way that you maybe believe that you can achieve. You know, when we, our beliefs is what manifest. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, Scorpio, adjust your thinking about it. Adjust your thinking, adjust your beliefs about what it is that you are trying to manifest. If you're noticing that the things that are manifesting in your world are not, you know, what you want, let's say, then it's time to take action on changing your beliefs and changing how you view what you're trying to manifest. Because if you're coming from a place of not believing that it's actually true, that you can have what you want, then you're not going to, you know, manifest what you want. You're going to manifest what more of what you don't want. So it's time to take action on those thoughts, those thoughts and those beliefs. Knowing that you are good enough for the things that you want. So maybe you have a self-worth belief that is blocking you from the things that you want, Scorpio. And you need to change the way that you believe in yourself about what you're trying to manifest. Okay? You are good enough. You are worthy. You're more than enough for whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. But if you're thinking small, if you're thinking that you're not good enough, then you're going to manifest more things that show you that you're not good enough. And we don't want that. We want to manifest what you want to manifest. So take action on those thoughts and those beliefs. And really take a look at how you feel about yourself, you know. Where are you coming from? What kind of energy are you coming from in these things that you're trying to manifest? Are you coming from this energy of not being good enough? Because you can adjust that. You can adjust those things, those beliefs, to match what it is that you want. And it's imperative that you do that so that you can... Yeah, see, this is the card of self-worth, being good enough. This person knows that she knows that she knows that she's good enough. She knows her worth. She knows her value. So adjust. I'm seeing here, Scorpio, that it's time to take action on <clears throat> 
how you are manifesting, you know, how you are thinking about yourself and your belief in yourself about what you want to manifest. Do you want to manifest abundance? This is the card of, abund of abundance. This is somebody who knows their worth, they know their value, and they are receiving that. They're receiving what they know that they're worth, they're worthy of. So maybe you need to adjust your worth, your, your belief about your worth. You're good enough. You're more than worthy of the things that you want. You're more than worthy of being in this energy of abundance and self-sufficiency and um, just really being in a place where you can enjoy your life. You can enjoy the fruits of your labor. This is an independent energy, self-sufficient, has a lot of money coming in and is able to enjoy it. There's a lot of balance in this person's life and they are able to enjoy it, but they're also getting a lot of attention and having a lot of, you know, different things handed to them. Like, I don't mean handed to them like there's something special. They just know that they're worthy of good things. And so opportunities come their way, doors open for them. That's the kind of thing that I mean by handed to them. They have opportunities coming to them, people offering them jobs, offering them different things, you know, doors opening for them and different opportunities happening for them. And it is all because this person knows that they are worthy of the things that they want. Their worth and their value has increased because of their belief in themselves. So Scorpio, I see that you need, you may need to adjust how you think and how you feel about your worth of the things that you're trying to manifest because you may think have some kind of deep seated rooted rooted belief that you're not good enough and then we have the card of being good enough here so it tells me that you need to be in this energy and know that you are worthy of the things that you're trying to accomplish and know that this last year has been so hard Scorpio Scorpio it's been hard and you might, it, it might have made you think that you're never going to get to where you want to be because it's been so hard, <laughs> but it's coming to an end and just know that you are worthy. You are valuable. Believe in yourself. Rethink your beliefs. Okay. Take action on your beliefs and know that all that you want is coming. Just believe in yourself. Really take this time in this last month of the zodiac year to take the time to believe in yourself and watch what happens here we have the fool this is starting over starting over with your beliefs starting over on the things that you're trying to manifest you have a new beginning here you have a new beginning so if it's been really tough and you've been facing one challenge after another that has really caused you to not believe in yourself or think that there's something wrong with you or, you know, something like that, Scorpio. Adjust your thinking because you have a brand new beginning here. We're literally starting a brand new zodiac year. You have that card of the new moon in Aries, that new, this is the new year, starting the new year. You literally have that here and you have the fool. So next month, turns a brand new chapter for you not only is it a brand new zodiac year for you but it's a brand new chapter for you personally scorpio okay so adjust your thinking and know that you are you are good enough and everything that you have been you know struggling with is all coming to a close it's all coming to a close and you can make the choice to decide i am starting new i am done with all of that I am believing in myself. I am believing in my worth and my value. I am believing in what I want to create. And I am ready for this new beginning. I'm ready to leave everything negative in the past. And I am ready for this new beginning. Oh my gosh. And as I say that, <laughs> you're ready for this new beginning. You have the fool as a brand new beginning and you have the ace of pentacles. Are you kidding me? This is the best new beginning you could ask for in the tarot. This is a brand new gift from the universe that you may have been struggling in your money. And you know, you have a lot of money here in this nine of pentacles card. This is all coming. If you're struggling in your money, 
and this last year has really taken a toll on you and you're thinking about yourself um you have this new beginning here put all of that to rest and make the choice to let's take the leap of faith let's take the leap of faith that everything is all changing if i can get a hold of these cards here everything is changing for you scorpio you have this brand new chapter here okay literally and i feel like it's starting immediately because you do have this new moon in aries which is one month from this weekend and you have this beautiful gift from the universe you have a gift here and you have a gift here you have a new start coming towards you like immediately and it's destined because the fool is a destiny card it's destined for you to be in this abundant energy okay where opportunities just fall into your lap things open up for you whatever this means if it's money or otherwise you have a brand new gift from the universe the, see the hands you're being given a gift for me it looks like money because it is a pentacles card but it doesn't have to be it can be a gift of love it can be a gift of whatever it is that you're trying to create in your life what you're trying to manifest it's like a whole new chapter of your life a whole new season of your life it's like let's walk away from the old chapter and let's start a new chapter brand new everything starts brand new but the greatest thing about this one particularly is that it takes root and it lasts for a long time it's a long long-term energy it's the kind that is solid and stable you have self-sufficiency you have stability here you have great money here so if you have been struggling in your money these two combined the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is the ten of pentacles so if you've been really trying to create wealth you've got it here this is a brand new beginning and you may be offered some kind of new job or a new promotion or a new position and you're being encouraged to take it take the leap of faith it's what you've been asking for and it's going to bring you wealth it's going to bring you self-sufficiency like you've never had it before. Be strong. Be courageous. Really follow your heart. Be in your most authentic self. Follow what's on the inside of you. Have courage. Have strength. This is a, another destiny card. You have a new beginning and you have strength. You're, you're being completely guided and protected through all that you've been through. And you're being taken right to this brand new phase of your life that is going to be so freaking abundant. Scorpio, you have so much abundance here, it's not even funny. Courage, confidence, abundance. Whatever it is that you feel unworthy of, change it. Adjust that thinking, take action by following that taking the leap take action by changing your thinking let go of negative see how she's letting go of all the old letting go of all the negative thinking letting go of anything that doesn't line up with all of this that you can literally have in your new zodiac year <clears throat> take this month to really let go of thinking that doesn't line up with your dreams thinking believing whatever it is that is i want to say negative you know negative thinking about yourself negative thinking about your dreams what you're trying to accomplish in your life let it all go let it all go because you have a brand new brand new start here and you have so much abundance whether that's in money or love or just life uh, an abundant flowing life that just flows better than it is now whatever this means to you Scorpio because we're all different but let go of any old thinking old beliefs old stuff that does not line up with this new that you're trying to create okay you're supposed to let it go that's a destiny card it's all like everything that you've been through in the last year has all been for a reason to get you to now okay and you're coming across this reading for a reason yes you have another destiny card here what are you manifesting you're in your manifesting power adjust 
your thinking, adjust your thinking, let go of anything negative, and know that you are in your manifesting power to have whatever it is that you want to create. This is all new beginning too. This in the this is the number one. You have the zero and the one. You have the ace of pentacles. You have all this new beginning energy here. You're literally starting the new zodiac year in this power to create whatever it is that you want and you have so much abundance so much abundance stability just insane this is so beautiful i love it for you scorpio really embrace this magician energy because it is you it's coming out for a reason and it is your destiny to really manifest what you want, but you have to let go of any negative thinking or beliefs that you can have what you want. Okay, I love this for you. You'll have to comment below and let me know how this resonates for you and what happens for you because you have this Ace of Pentacles and this Nine of Pentacles, meaning the Ten of Pentacles coming in for you. So if that is a new job or if that is a new, just a brand new chapter of abundance, for you where you're just feeling stable you're feeling solid you're feeling like you can finally enjoy the fruits of your labor you can finally feel like everything is right where it's supposed to be and you can just not stress and not worry or you know you can just feel so much more abundant in all areas of your life you need to change your thinking take action on that and know that you're in your manifesting power to create the life that you want starting now. Absolutely starting now. Scorpio, I can't wait to hear from you. Comment below and let me know what this means for you because we're all different and we're, it's going to mean something different for all of us. But I really want to know, okay? And if this resonates for you, Scorpio, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep delivering these kind of messages for you that really resonate i love it i am here on a mission and i just ask to be used to heal bless and inspire each and every one of you thank you so much for being here i'll see you in the next reading scorpio take care